Hi everyone! Today we're going to be using a dry brushing technique. So you're going to need a couple different colors of paint and I'm using two chip brushes and make sure that you have some paper towel or a napkin handy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to work in my sketchbook on a page that I've already painted gray and I'm going to start with my larger chip brush. I'm mixing some raw and burnt sienna and the trick here is to make sure you're coating all of your bristles pretty evenly and then you want to make sure to dab off any excess paint. The technique is called dry brushing because we're not going to use any water. We really want to get this feathery effect that you can get from the brush. So right now I'm going to go ahead and coat my first layer of this raw sienna burnt sienna mixture and I'm using the larger brush so I can cover a bigger surface area. Now that I feel like it's in a place that I like it, I'm going to go ahead and add some more colors to my palette. I'm using some cobalt blue and red. So for this layer I'm going to use my smaller chip brush. And because I've noticed that this one's a little bit more flimsier than the last brush, I don't need to dab off as much of the paint on the paper towel because it's already giving me a very feathery effect just because of the way this brush is. But if your brush is a little stiffer, then be sure to keep dabbing it on the paper towel just so you have enough paint to cover your page without it being globbed on. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple different directions of strokes of the blue all over. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to add some of the red. I like the way this is looking and I think I'm going to add some green and I'm going to mix some of the green with the raw sienna I already have on my palette just because that gives it more of a rustic feel. This is thalocyanine green so it's a pretty bright one um, mixing it with a warmer earthier color is going to give me more of this rustic look I'm already going with with my palette. Now that I have my page coated, I'm going to add some final touches with the raw sienna. My brush is already mixed with a lot of the other colors, so it's going to give me some nice variety in that way. It won't look like it's the paint squirted straight from the tube. And that is what dry brushing can look like. As always, I encourage you to experiment with different surfaces and different color palettes. And um, you can use this as a base uh, for your next project. It doesn't need to stand alone or it could. Either way, have fun. Thanks for joining. And don't forget to leave some of your comments below.